Hey kids, welcome back to Learn with Makto. In this video, we are going to continue with the first standard mathematics. That is lesson number 10, addition, where sum is not more than 20. So I hope you know a bit about addition because I already discussed addition of one digit numbers. So today we are going to see addition where the sum is not more than 20. Okay. So, before starting that, we will solve these first, then we will start with the actual lesson. Okay, kids? Okay. The first one is what? 4 plus 5. So, how to do that? I taught you two methods using the fingers and using lines. So, first using lines we will solve. First one is what? 4. Number 4 is there. So, draw 4 lines. 1, 2, 3, 4. Four lines you have drawn. Next number is what? Five. So you have to draw five more lines. One, two, three, four, five. Yes. What do you mean by addition? Addition means to join the things. Yes. So now count total how many lines are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So total answer will be. 9. Okay. Yes. The next one is what? 7 plus 2. So with the help of fingers we can do this. Yes. Okay. First we have to take how many fingers? 7 fingers. So take 7 fingers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yes. 7 fingers I take. Then plus 2 is there. So after 7 you have to take two more fingers no so take two more fingers one two yes so now totally how many fingers are there nine so the answer is nine clear with this kids okay so the type, problem type may be any type maybe the horizontal type or maybe the vertical type okay so here here there's a point which i told you in the chapter zero or in the addition also I told once again. What is that? Whenever we add a number to the zero, whenever we add a number to the zero, we will get the same number as the result. So zero plus six means six will be the answer. Next, four plus four. What will be the answer? Draw four lines first. One, two, three, four. Next, one more 4 is there, so take 4 more lines. So now count them totally. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So 8 is the answer. Clear with this kids. Okay. Next, here we have to count and add the objects. Okay, count the objects. 1, 2, 3. So 3 plus 1, 2, 2 objects. So now count total objects. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 3 plus 2 will be 5. Clear with this kids. So I hope you know this. This we already discussed. So let's start with the actual lesson. Yes kids. So here add 7 and 5. Four. The problem they may give like this also. They can say add 7 and 4. How to do this? Here 7 add means plus one more number is what? 4. Now you can do it no? Using what? Using lines. 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yes. Then 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Yes. Okay. Now count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So the answer is what? 11. What it means here? 11 means what? What is this 11 here? 11, as I already told you, in a number, this digit will represent what? Number of units 
this digit will represent number of tens. So what is 11? 11 is equals to 1 tens plus 1 unit. Clear with this kids? Actually what is this 110? 110 is 10. What is this 1 unit? It is 1. That is the thing. Clear with this kids. I hope you are not confused. So I, what I am doing here is I am splitting the answer into tens and units. Clear with that. Okay. We will do one more problem. 8 and 5. So let's do it. First number is what? 8. Write it down. Add means plus. 5. You are going to consider. So now you can draw lines and do it. Fast, fast. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Next here, 5 lines, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now, above how many lines are there? 8, no? So after 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So the answer is how much? 13. So can you split this into tens and units? What do you mean by this 13? 13 can be written as 1 tens. And 3 units. How to write this? It is simple. In the number only, you can write. Here 3 means what it is units. 1 means it is tens. So here I am writing 1 tens, 3 units. Simple? Yes, kids. I hope you understand how to do addition here. That's all for this video kids. In the next video we are going to do the same way how we did addition. We are going to do subtraction. Clear with that kids. So I hope you like this video. And practice these problems in the textbook also. You have so many problems. You can practice them in your fair books. Okay kids. So that's all. See you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.